Colossians 1.15 says that Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. Now, there are many who have interpreted firstborn of all creation to mean that Jesus is the first being created by God. The Mormons teach he is the literal offspring of Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother. The Jehovah's Witnesses believe Jesus is the Archangel Michael. However, the very next verse says, for by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things were created through him and for him. So since Jesus is the creator of all things, he himself cannot be a created being because if he was created, he can't be the creator of all things. Jesus, the Son of God, is eternal and uncaused, one with God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. Jesus is God. John 1.18 says, No one has ever seen God. The only God who is at the Father's side, that would be Jesus Christ, he has made him known. 1 John 5.20 says, Jesus Christ is the true God and eternal life. Paul says in Titus 2.13 that he is our God and Savior. In Isaiah 43.10, God says, Before me no God was formed, nor shall there be any after me. So Jesus, who is God, is eternal, with no beginning and no end, from everlasting to everlasting. So what does it mean to say Jesus is the firstborn of all creation? It's just another way of saying that all things belong to Him. The Father has given Him all the rights of a firstborn Son. Everything that belongs to God the Father belongs to the Son of God, the true God of the Bible, when we understand the text.